FL Studio 2025 is finally here. Hey everyone, my name is Brett with Simulation Beats and I've been an FL Studio ambassador for the past few months or so. So in this video, we'll be going over everything new inside of FL Studio 2025 compared to 2024. We're gonna go over everything that you need to know and what to expect. Let's get right into it. And the first thing we have here is going to be the new FL Studio 2025 What's New video. And let's see what we can find out. Welcome to FL Studio 2025. In this video, with I did see the patch notes here, so I already know some of the things that are new that I'm excited for. Brand new expert chatbot along the way. That right there. AI inside of FL Studio. Time, Crazy. We've been told 125 mixer tracks just aren't enough. We listened, so now you can expand your mixer up to 500 tracks. So many people are going to be excited about that. I never need more than like 20 max, but that's going to be great for a lot of people. Tracks are dynamic, so if you need less, simply trim away unused tracks for a simpler project. Cool. That's actually better for people like me. Per clip editing. There's nothing I can go through, go through. Say goodbye to channel rack clutter. You can now pitch shift, reverse, and time stretch audio clips directly without needing no to way. create a unique copy. This makes aligning audio faster and keeps your channel rack neat. And it makes warping like this a lot easier. Oh, that's going to be so useful for samplers. I'm going to use that a lot. So cool. I want to play more with like pitch shifting vocals and like other elements, but it's so annoying to really like create a whole new pattern. We've added a new way to get started with FL Studio. Kick off your session on the right footing with Loop Starter. Access it directly from the channel rack. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Loop Starter grabs one shots and loops from FL Cloud based on your chosen genre. Tap the dice Another icon reason to, use it to try really different cool. sounds. If you right click the dice, you will be able to see more options like automatically filling the steps. You can also search for similar sounds in FL Cloud. Need expert Ooh, help? Okay, with FL yeah. Studio Don't worry, the AI chatbot inside of FL Meet Studio. Gopher, as in go for information. Oh, okay. A multilingual chatbot trained on the FL Studio manual and knowledge base. Whether you're adjusting sharps oh, to flats okay. or sorting where out they were mic issue, that. Gopher's got your back with fast, accurate answers. For example, how do I reverse a sample? Nice, okay. They're probably going to talk about it right now, but I'm curious on how much they're going to really help it implement things inside of the actual FL Studio. Like, is it going to be just for information? Or can we tell it to do certain things like apply parametric EQ and add a high pass or a low pass or some sort of any sort of mixing techniques too? I wonder how much it's really going to take control of the DAW or if it's just going to be for information. Or it can even That's help cool. with writer's block. Give me a popular lo-fi chord progression. Now, can it, does it do it for you or... Okay, so it didn't do it for you, but obviously it's got other chord techniques too we could use. Oh, that's cool. That's gonna be helpful to a lot of different people. New plugins. Emphasis. This is my bread and butter. Retrospectively included with all plugins edition is our new multi-stage single band mastering limiter built for easy and effective sound enhancement. A clean limiting stage with program-dependent timing allows for transparent dynamics. VFX script lets you run Python scripts directly in Patcher. I don't know how much I'll be personally playing around with that. I don't know how to code. <laughs> Skip ahead a little bit here. Free pack, why not? Flex. We're excited to introduce the free oh, flex I forgot pack about that VST. I haven't used that in years. This adds to the six new packs released nice. this year. Edison Deverb. We chase the stars. This could be pretty big. We touch the sky. Let's see how well this works. You can now remove reverb from samples in Edison. That's gonna be crazy if this works out well. We chase the stars. We touch the sky. That's not bad. We the okay, it's more dramatic than I thought. <laughs> Obviously, when recording or sampling, if you can find something that's completely clean without any processing, it's still going to be cleaner. But the rules of quality are different for sampling, and here it gives you a lot more control. So definitely a huge tool here. We yeah, a lot more control. Stars. Add your own reverbs and delays. The chord progression tool gets a new generative baseline mode for instant baselines. Cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
that wraps up the highlights of FL Studio 2025.1. Nice. Okay. All right, some very exciting things here. And I do recommend you guys go check out the full video after this one. So now let's go inside of FL Studio 2025 here and test out some of the new features. So transferring on over from 2024 to 25, my template that I created a while ago is still here. So the first thing I want to test out is this button right here, the loop starter. That's something. Okay, okay. I'm noticing there's no snares. Let's try and fix that. Try out some house. That's new. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Oh, hitting randomized there. Then we can change like the drums too even. Oh yeah, so much better immediately. Kind of fire, not gonna lie. Let's go through some of the other stuff. Now the main thing that I want to go check out over here. So if we hit that button, gopher. Awesome, okay. And then let's just say give me a dark trap chord progression. Okay, so it wants A, F, G, E. Nice, okay. Kind of beautiful, actually. <laughs> Alright, I need to move on, but if you guys want a fully dedicated video to Gopher, go and let me know in the comments down below. Oh, this one sounds really good. I'm gonna save this one for later. This actually sounds really nice. Alright, another big thing that I want to go look at was inside of Edison. What do you say when they shy away? And we're gonna hit the wrench icon right here, D reverb, voice, where it will then analyze our audio. Okay, and then after a short waiting period, we can now see the results. Here's the original. What do you say when they shy away? All right, now over to the processed version. What do you say oh, that's when good. They shy away? That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Like the fact that the reverb is almost completely gone, but you can still hear the breaths. So that's really high quality. Why that's so good is that now we can go on over to a mixer track and put that on number one right there. What do you say when they shy away? I want what you made of. Dude, that is just so good. Like, the, the amount of control that you get over the sample now, like, you get to add your own reverb, delay, and a lot of other effects, too. Like, obviously, if you're working with an artist, you don't want to rely on that if you're creating professional songs. But if you're sampling, like, by all means, this is a great, great tool. Now, for the mixer tracks over here, we can pull this on over and then get as many mixer tracks as we can, up to 500, I believe is what they said, and a lot of you guys may like that. I don't need that many. So now let's try out the opposite. Trim unused tracks, yes. Down to 17. That's really good. That's all that I really need. All right, now we've got the brand new emphasis plugin on the master track, where I'll put on the level matching, make sure everything's gain matched, and then lower the ceiling down to minus one, and increase the input gain. And for the enhancement mode, we have versatile, loud, transient, and steady. These two will have the auto emphasis. These two will have an actual manual button where you can dial in what you want. I'll leave it on versatile for now. Increase the envelope. True peak. Then increase the oversampling from four times to 16 times, best quality. Here's the unmatched version. Now with emphasis. All right, just a quick first look video for the FL Studio 2025 update. And I'm curious what you guys are most excited for in this update. Are you excited about the new emphasis plugin, the AI chatbot, the 500 mixture channels? For me personally, I'm most excited about the AI chatbot Gopher. I'm really curious to see what the thing can really do. But for today, that's all I got for this video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.